Hey guys, it's Coach Victoria here. I'm going to be going over the level one compulsory balance beam routine. Let's jump right into it. We're gonna do a salute. The mount is a jump to front support. We're closer to one end of the balance beam. They're gonna go ahead and lift their dominant leg over the balance beam and turn around to a straddle sit with tight legs. Arms come up to a crown, straight through it, back down, grab the balance beam behind them. Do a tuck with both legs. Lift the dominant leg. Come up to a tuck sit. From the tuck sit, arms are in crown. Put the flat foot down. It's a lever position with the hips squared with the balance beam. We don't want them to be open, so that means the knee should be facing the balance beam. Hips are square. And then you push off the beam and go straight back to this um, tuck sit on the balance beam or tuck squat on the balance beam with the hands in a crown position. Stand straight up to a releve. Let's go over that one more time. Salute. Jump front support. Dominant leg swings over. Arms go up, around, and back. Tuck, pointing the toes, not flat on the beam, not curled on the beam. They're point with flat ankles. Point one leg up. Come to a crown in a tuck, tuck squat. Needle kick. And straight back down here. Stand up onto releve. From here, we're going to put the hands on the hips. When I say hands on hips, I mean make an L and put the L on your leotard line. So we're in that releve. We're going to go step to a flat foot with your dominant leg. It's already out in front. We're just scooting it forwards more. Then to the hands on hip position in a passe. Your knee is going to be at the level of your hip. Knee at the level of your hip. Toe pointed, not behind it. Not flex behind it, it's pointed right at the knee. Passe, straight back down to a plie. Now what I did there was I took the leg, my non-dominant leg that was up in the passe, and I put it behind my dominant leg. So I am not stepping forwards into a plie, I'm stepping backwards into a plie, and the arms are going straight down by my side. We wanna make sure that the plie for the stretch jump does not have the chest low, and does not have any weird arm swinging. Uh, that's going to get them way off this line that we're looking for them to have for the stretch jump. So we want to keep those shoulders up, arms down by their side. Now the arms are going to lift straight up to go up for the stretch jump. And stretch jump, toes should be pointed and off of the balance beam there. Land with the arms up and then go straight back to a releve crown position. Now crown is a soft curve, so we do want a soft curve with their arms here. We do not want them to break their wrists. It's called broken wrists. We want them to be nice and round. Crown is a round position. Crown releve. And then we're going to drop onto our dominant leg. Arms go to a T and our non-dominant leg is going to go out behind us. Tap. Arabesque. Hold. Tap. Okay, let's go back over that from the end of the mount. So we end the mount in this squat here. We come up to a releve. Releve and a crown. Step, passe, plie, stretch, jump. Crown releve, tap, arabesque, tap. From here, we're gonna get them ready for leaps in the future. So we are doing a step and a leg swing with the arms in a T. And we're gonna leg swing with both legs. And then we're gonna step to a releve lock. Now let me show you what I mean by that. So we've done the arabesque tap. Step with the silly foot or their non-dominant leg. Silly foot. Swing, put that foot down. Swing. Step onto your non-dominant leg. Put the dominant leg in front and we're going to a lock. Now a lock means we're gonna to continue to have the foot that was in front, in front. You're just going to close that leg, boop, back up behind it. Okay. Let's go over that again from the arabesque. Tap, arabesque, tap. The arms stay in a T here. Step with the non-dominant leg. Swing the dominant leg, put it down. Swing the non-dominant leg, put it down, step onto it. Put the dominant foot in front, arms go up, and lock the non-dominant leg behind it. Now we're gonna get ready for the choreography before the dismount. This is pretty fun, I like this part. We're gonna take a step back with the dominant leg behind the non-dominant leg, 
and you're going to leave this one in a releve and drop the back on to a flat foot. Let's just do the legs first. So ignore my arms for now. I'm just going to leave them up. I'll show you them later. Step back, drop. Step back, drop. Okay. And you see how I go to a forced arch with the front foot. So I'm going to do it now facing this way so that you can see my feet. Step back, drop. And four starts with the front foot. Step back, drop the heel of the back foot and go to a four starch with the front foot again. Now the arms in this pose sequence. So from the releve, we've just done the step lock. The arms are going to be supple, which means they're going to bend and push gently. Bend and push. Bend them, bring the hands to the shoulders, push forwards. So we go step back, push gently with the wrist. You don't want to break them. Step back, push. Then you're going to grab your hands, interlock them. Step back, pull. Now by pull, I mean you're going to have a straight line from your elbow through your wrists to your other elbow. Pull. Then we're going to go point. This way we have our dominant leg out in front and our arms up high. Go down to our kneeling position. And that's our side handstand dismount there. Let me show you where that's actually going to be on the balance beam though. So we've just done our kick, kick, step, lock, step back, push, step back, pull, point, kneel, and dismount. Okay, let's go over it from the beginning. The dismount is a side handstand dismount from a knee for level ones. From the beginning, full routine. See if you can keep up with me. Salute. Jump front support. Dominant leg swings over. Arms come up around back. And tuck. Straighten. Oh, straighten one leg. Sorry, just the dominant leg. Go to a tuck uh, squat on the balance beam. Lever. Back to the squat. And stand releve. Releve. Step passe. Plie, stretch jump, crown releve, tap, arabesque, tap, silly foot, swing, swing, step, arms high, step, lock, dominant foot should be in front, step back, push, step back, pull, point, kneel on the balance beam, side handstand, dismount, and salute. That is the full level one balance beam routine. I am going to show it to you in a lefty version as well. So I would just simply start on the other side of the balance beam so that when I swing my non-dominant leg over, I've got the whole stretch of the balance beam in front of me. Salute. Jump front support. Dominant leg swings over. Arms up, around back. Point. Put the dominant leg up. That would be the left leg in this case. I'm not very good on my left leg. But you would go to the um, tuck squat position and kick back down to here up to a releve with the non dom with the, sorry your dominant leg in front which would be lefty here i'm really a righty so this stuff's tough for me then step dominant foot passe plie stretch jump with the left foot in front plie now finish in a releve crown Tap, arabesque, tap, silly foot, swing, that's the left leg, step onto the left leg, swing, that's the right leg, step onto the right leg, step onto the left leg on releve, put the arms up high, lock with the left leg in front, step back, push, step back, pull, point, that should be their dominant leg, the left leg in the front, kneel, and then side handstand dismount on the left side. You do not want to see me try that. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, comment down below some more things that you would like to see us put out.